total of 31 Guyanese nationals to date have returned from the devastated islands of Dominica, Tertola, and St. Martin. The government of Guyana, in collaboration with local airlines, business entities, and the Civil Defense Commission, have been working tirelessly to aid the hurricane-stricken territories. The first evacuees, three Guyanese nationals, returned to Guyana on Sunday, October 8, 2017, from Dominico. Ten others came the following Monday evening from Tertola. Then on Tuesday, October 10, 16 more nationals returned from St. Martin. All of the above evacuees were transported via trans Guyana Airways. This evening, an additional 10 arrived from St. Martin via JAGS Aviation Inc. According to Minister of State Joseph Harmon, Ghana stands committed to aiding these territories. We believe that anywhere Guyanese are, any time anything befalls them, once it is in the power of the state to do something for them, that we will extend that, that uh, welcoming arm. Flights will be dispatched for the next following days to evacuate Guyanese in the islands who wish to return and rebuild their lives here. Uh, yesterday, we were working with, I believe, 43. And then that number rose to 106. Um, I don't know by tomorrow they might be, uh, might be even larger than that. Zenobia Benjamin, who was holidaying in St. Martin, was stuck as the Category 5 storm landed on the island. She is overwhelmed to be home. I was praying to reach home, and so I'm trying to wait until I'm at home, take a shower and eat something, and then I'll be dancing. But I'm just so happy to be home. There's no place like home. Derek Ragnott, a Guyanese businessman who had been residing in the British Virgin Islands for the past nine years, sadly lost his life in the storm. InfoHub spoke to his nephew, John Shop, who said he is thankful for the return of Ragnott's son, Randy Ragnott, and the spared lives of other family members. The body of the disease is expected to be flown in this week. We feel it for the family them over there because most of them over there in Tautola. And everybody gets a lot of losses, you know. But thank God for the, the rest of life that not only one die. Containers with relief supplies have departed to the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency and they will be distributed to territories in need. Colonel retired Chabilal Ramsroop, Director General of the Civil Defense Commission, told InfoHub that some territories are not part of the Sedema body, hence flights will be taking supplies directly to those nations. We have nine containers that's already packed, three, four is on its way, and ten containers rather, six is supposed to be leaving tomorrow. The six is going to Dominica, the four is going to Antigua, Antigua for Bar Barbuda. Um, however, we give Sedema the liberty of looking at the items and see whether or not the other islands in the area need more than Antigua, and they can redistribute it from that. Once goods dispatched by aircraft, the items will be collected by the individual disaster response agencies for each country who will then distribute to persons in need. The CDC is currently packing two containers with building materials to aid in the rebuilding of the affected nations. This relief effort sees Guyana continuing its commitment in aiding countries that have suffered from various natural disasters in the Caribbean region and farther afield. Zanil Williams reporting for InfoHub.